You know, th <laughs> this will actually be uh, my third world title I put on because I won the other two. What does it say? Freaking world champion. What do you think it says? <laughs> Yeah, I, I was joking with Spencer and uh, Jacob Warner, and he was like, you, you just have to win a couple of national titles before, before you go to the NFL. Yeah. I was like, all right, I'll, I'll do that. I'll make sure to do that. When I wrestled at Worlds last summer, I got back, and the next week we had our first football game. They were worried like I wasn't going to be conditioned to play a full mm. football game, but what? I was wrestling all summer. I was, like, I was like, it's, I'm going to be fine. Like, don't yeah. worry about me. And if I had, to, had a role model, it was probably uh, Brett Metcalf. Gable Stevenson told us he doesn't think that you'll touch a wrestling mat in college. Well, that's crazy. You think Gable Stevenson even knows who I am. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome back to the Clash of Combat podcast. Today, we are joined with... Ben Keeter, how's it going today? I'm doing good, man. Exci excited to be on. Yeah, absolutely. Is this your first in-person podcast? Yeah, I think so. I was, we were talking about it earlier. And yep. It's like it's kind of cool that you guys are here <laughs> in person because most stuff I do is on Zoom, so yeah. it's pretty neat. No, absolutely. It's super cool. Super happy to have you. Um, one question, starting off off the bat: uh -huh. Who is Ben Keeter? Who's Ben Keeter? Ooh, that's that's a good one, man. I, I mean, I don't know. Everybody knows me for my my athletics, I guess you could say, and being the Two sport commit to Iowa, but I mean, yeah, I just down to earth person, I guess you could say, and just super easy going. But yeah, I mean, everybody knows me as a two sport kid going to Iowa. So, who do you want to be known for? Uh, just a hard working kid, I guess you could say, and just really doing everything right and just mm -hmm. being on the right path and a role model, I guess you could say, for younger kids. Sure, absolutely. Well, first things off, we're starting this off. We're gonna get a little gift. <laughs> oh yeah, shoe, the <coughs> dopa. Ooh, yeah, we were this. just telling you, Dopa. Shout yep. out to Dopamino. Shout out to Dopa. They, uh, we got uh, no. we got a little, we got a little gift bag for you. The Dopa gift bag. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're the first guest to get this. Yeah, oh, really? we just, yeah, yeah, we just started Dang. some big deal. So we got a bolt in there, and then you got a longer yellow band. You can oh, yeah. do recovery, um, heck yeah. whatever you want to do. That's um, awesome. We we do have a little challenge for you though. Yeah. For the blue one, break the bolt. If you can break it, you win hundred dollars. Really? <laughs> yes. Like right now. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> How do you break it? You, you just gotta no rip scissors. It apart. You just gotta rip it apart. If you can rip it apart. Oh shit! Oh, that oh, looks like it's getting close. Oh god! <laughs> oh, you god. Can't break, you can't break. <laughs> Holy crap! I Dude. thought I was gonna get it. Yeah. Like... No, that's yeah, the thing. I tried hilarious. to break that. We've had guys like try to put their foot on it, and like really? guys who can deadlift like four hundred five plus can't do it. Has that... anybody broken it yet? Just... Um. Someone has broke it if it there's like a little cut in it, uh, like a okay. decent cut. Yeah. Who, broke, who broke it? Uh, Christian Ketter, actually. Oh, wow. One of my buddies from high school. That's but. crazy. That's sweet. Yeah, well, thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's awesome. Holy crap. Dude, that was like, I don't <laughs> think I can pull it. You almost got it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. You want to start us off? Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, on your recruiting visit with like Tom and Terry, how, like, what are they like in person? Because I feel like everybody's like just pictures them as like, you yeah. know, like really like. Uh -huh. I mean, headers. yeah. So I first they uh, they called me right away and they're like, we want you to be a hawk. And growing up in Iowa City, that's that's kind of the plan, right? I mean, you live in Iowa, Iowa City, and you go to Carver every every Saturday or Sunday, whenever it is, and you see that. So that's that's always kind of been the plan. But yeah, I mean, they're they're super intense. They're yeah. crazy. They're 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 awesome. It's it's always something new every day. So. It was it was cool finally getting to meet them and stuff and kind of see how they operate. First time medium was it like holy crap? Like, yeah, it's like I was I was sitting in his office and I'm like wow I'm in I'm in Tom Brand's <laughs> office right now. I mean I got I got pictures of him on my wall and stuff. Yeah. So it's 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 it was sweet. So you're you're homegrown. This is where you know you live all your life. Yep. How many like college Iowa duels have you gone to? Ah, uh, too many. Too many. Iowa football games just it's when I growing up that's what you do every Saturday you go to an Iowa football game or. Fridays and Sundays, you get you go to the Carver and watch the meets. So. What are your thoughts about Iowa State? Uh, so I so football wise, they uh, they they actually offered me before Iowa did. Really? Yeah. So that was kind of cool, and I took my visit there, and they were they were super cool. I mean, if I wasn't an Iowa Iowa fan my whole life, I probably really would have considered it for sure. But uh, they're good. I mean, obviously, they're they, we got to beat them. So mm -hmm. they're the enemies, I guess you could say. Man. Imagine this: you could play football for Iowa State, but then like wrestle for Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> you probably can't. Imagine yeah, that. Yeah. That'd be so that, cool. That would be very interesting. <laughs> yeah, that, that would be interesting for sure. <laughs> for for your circumstance, doing two Division One sports, and for those being wrestling and football, do you think has anyone ever done that before? Yeah, there's been a couple. 
that uh like a couple names thrown around that have done it but uh honestly and i just noticed this there's like two other kids in my class recruit are committed to do that too the same thing yeah wow it's Wait, uh what? jim mullen he's going to virginia tech okay so he's a heavyweight he's doing the same thing and then there's one other kid he's going to northwestern so wow it's kind of starting to be a trend i guess you could say but yeah there's there's been a couple at iowa i know for sure maybe there's not world champion level <laughs> guys yeah well it's funny too because i joke with the guys on the team it's like yeah i'm a walk-on for wrestling like i'm a world champion and i'm walking on for wrestling i what? was gonna ask you this yeah. how that the scholarship opportunities worked yeah so football uh obviously like takes a scholarship because they get they get a crazy oh, okay. amount of scholarships they can do like the full to, and yeah so it's honestly works out pretty nice because i mean you get a pretty high level athlete for wrestling and football and then you don't have to waste a scholarship on that for wrestling wow. and so you get like a, free, a whole nother scholarship that is very interesting yeah it's pretty sweet oh. i was wondering if they could just like split it but i guess it probably makes it, more sense yeah. it, gets, it, it gets messy i'm sure but does i don't know like the the earnings i guess for like iowa duels but it's got to be the most it's got to be up there I would, yeah I would say. you would think that they're making yeah I'm sure they make good money, but yeah. I think it just made sense for football yeah. to take it. And then, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Kind of gives them a free scholarship. Yeah. When was, like, the first time you ever saw, like, an Iowa wrestling duel? Oh, that's tough. Because, well, because for you, uh, if people who don't know, your parents didn't grow up wrestling no. at all. You're kind of like nope. the first generation yeah. wrestler. So how did you get linked in, like, wrestling and then, oh, you're going to duels. Next yeah. thing you know, you said um, you're living at a place that um, Dan Gable was, like, renting out. Yeah. So how is that all? Yeah, it's a pretty crazy story. So uh, both my parents, they're basketball players, and my mom ran track, but there's, like, no correlation to wrestling whatsoever. And then I have a younger brother who's a junior right now, and we, I was, like, four or five, and we just beat the crap out of each <laughs> other just in the living room and stuff. So they, finally they took us to a, to a practice, and that's, that's just kind of how it started. But my, uh, my dad grew up in Iowa City, so he grew up uh, going to the duels. I mean, that's what mm -hmm. you did living in Iowa City, even if – you didn't wrestle like that because at the time they're just they're just fun to watch and it, it was cool but uh but yeah I mean I can't really point out like my first time going to a, a Carver Carver duel but uh just because I've done it so much okay. but it's just it's it's super it's it's something new every single time you get there and it's, it's exciting that's something I wish I have done I just feel like I didn't have that I guess opportunity or maybe I wasn't close enough yeah. but the first college duel I went to I wrestled in Really? Like I didn't go to any college. I'm pretty sure, like I didn't go to any Badger duels or anything. That's yeah. just not a thing in Wisconsin. No, though. it's not. And like for for Iowa, is it just that big of a deal? Like it, you have to try wrestling at some point. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's I mean it's Iowa. We're known for wrestling, yeah. right? So it's just it's kind of something you have to do. I mean, you walk down the street and it's just guys with qualifiers, and it's just <laughs> it's how it is. I guess you could say, but. So the bar yeah. fights must be pretty intense. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't know, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we saw in like the, I'm sure a lot of people have seen or know who you are because of that stalemates mm -hmm. video. Yeah. And you said, or think your mom said in it that you were, you cried yourself to sleep at night when uh, Brent Metcalf. Oh lost yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was uh, the Olympic trials and that, that's when it was at Carver. And, uh, yeah, so he lost, and I just remember bawling my eyes out the, all the way out the arena and stuff, and I was just so upset because Oh, you guys were there. Yeah, we went oh. and watched, yes, because it was at Carver's, so <laughs> we kind of have to go watch, yeah. right? But, yeah, I was so upset just walking out the arena and stuff because, I mean, growing up, he was he's, like, who I wanted to wrestle like, right? Yeah. I mean, if I had to, had a role model, it was probably uh, Brett Metcalf, but, yeah, I was super upset, so that, that was definitely a tough weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about stalemates. How was that whole process? Because they fouled you throughout your whole that uh, high school last state title yeah. run. Yeah, yeah. So they started on Monday, I believe, and then Saturday was like the last day for state. And it was uh, my coach, uh, Adam Fellers. I'm sure you guys felt her facts or whatever on Twitter. Okay. I'm sure a lot of the wrestling people know him, but he kind of got that going, and it was it was cool. I mean, it didn't really, it didn't really. I was worried it was going to throw me off a little bit, like just having somebody with a camera in my face the entire oh, yeah. time, but. Uh, it was cool. I really, I really got used to it and adjusted to it, and it was pretty neat that people get got to see like that week and like what what all went into that and stuff. So it was pretty neat. I, I did you have a watch party for it? Uh, I didn't actually, oh. but that probably would have been a really Dude, good. Dude, next next time you do something yeah. like that, have a watch party because I remember when I recorded my last state run, I invited like my wrestling team over and like we kind of had like a I premiered it on YouTube and yeah. then they had like a watch party and that was super cool. Heck yeah! Um, well, I mean. 
I didn't expect it to blow up like it did. Yeah, dude. dude I mean, I crazy. thought they're they're just gonna come yeah. video, and I'm a wrestler, and wrestlers sure. really don't really get like I guess views like that. I guess yeah. you could say, but uh, I mean, it blew up, and even a couple weeks after, I had like people like uh, Johnny Knoxville hit me up on really? Instagram. Jeez. He's like, yeah, I, I mean, I could probably pull yeah, it up. Pull this up. Yeah, pull this up. But I got a text from him, and I saw it, and I was like, there's no way this is him. But it was, yeah. is he just like giving respect versus respect he watched too? it yeah so he watched <laughs> it and just thought it was crazy and thought it was really neat I, they, they did a great job they really followed yeah. the whole story they brought it together i love the music they put because it in the most intense matches they had like that kind of slower yeah oh, i don't yeah, know yeah. how to describe yeah. it but it was like wow like that's yeah. that's pretty sick yeah that last song my brother was actually uh playing it on a car ride to practice that week so i wow. think they got that from there that's dope Try to find it. I have to go back a ways. You that probably felt like you were a celebrity, dude. Just having yeah. cameras following you. Around. Yeah, it was it was cool. But the thing with the the Iowa State tournament is like it's a pretty small state, and yeah. like a lot of people wrestler wrestle. So like they all go to Des Moines for like four days, and it's just everybody's there. Like all the high schools, everybody's watching. So I mean. Mm-hmm. And if you do good at it, I mean, you are pretty much a rock star for a week. Yeah. So it, it is pretty cool and pretty neat how they do that. Dang. But yeah, here. You got like a fence set back up here for like baseball or something? Yeah, my little ball? brother, uh, he plays wiffle ball. Oh, sweet. Yeah, oh, so I go out there and play with him a couple times. Crosby has a... Yeah. Get it. I got a little wiffle ball field at my house. Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> yeah. Johnny Knoxville. I know. I clicked legit? on his profile and I was 4. like, 4.2 million followers. Yeah, Holy crap, legit. dude. He yeah, goes, pretty oh. crazy. So he followed you. Yeah. My, can I read it? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. My pleasure. What, or you said, thanks for the follow. Love watching your stuff growing up. Yeah, because he followed me and I was like, yeah. no way, Johnny <laughs> dude, Knoxville. That's so cool. Yeah, he good. goes, my pleasure. Watch a YouTube video on you this morning and was blown away. Once in a lifetime talent and you work your ass off. Bravo. Most impressive was how you focus and mentally strong you are. I teared up when you hugged your mom and dad after winning your four state title. What a fine young man. You are at the beginning of a wonderful journey. Continue to make your own luck. I sure will be rooting for you. Wahoo and sincerely, not- Knoxville. Yeah. Dude, Holy crap, dude. Yeah. That is awesome. I know. I'm going to have to get him up to Iowa City to watch him meet at Carver or something. I feel like that would be pretty sweet. I, I can tell you what. You need to make a video on that. Yeah. Because yes. you, you DM'd me a couple weeks ago, weeks ago if you were saying, like, would it be a good idea to start up a YouTube channel? Yeah. Dude, you have a great opportunity that if, you, if there's someone that's going to film you mm-hmm. and you edit that, I think so many people would love yeah, to see sure. your journey. Um, and all I can say is think about documenting yeah. over creating. Mm-hmm. Like, just show what you're doing yeah. and people will love it. People I, will, like be inspired by that i mean yeah i think it would be sweet i mean just to kind of because everybody always always asks me like how are you gonna do it like how's it gonna work and yeah. instead of answering that i could just show them a video like here you go this is how it's gonna yeah. work i man i feel like you have have a purpose of what you want to do and people say oh how are you gonna balance it you got school you got two sports but it's like i'm just gonna do it because yeah. i can yeah like it's you're not setting limits on your abilities right. and i think yeah. that's really awesome for sure i mean growing up and like wrestling like it's it's common to do two days for practices sure. and stuff and i'm sure a lot of people have done that so it won't be much different than like drilling in the morning and then having to work out in the afternoon except my drill in the morning is gonna be a football workout yeah no so, that's a good point and it, it works out really nice so uh football they actually practice in the mornings and then oh. wrestling goes in the afternoon Oh, dang, you yeah. like lucked out with that. I know, so it, work, it works out pretty good. It'll be a lot, and I'll just have to be smart with my body, but I know mm-hmm. I'm in the, a pretty good place to do yeah. that stuff. So you set out to be the best high school wrestler from Iowa ever, the yeah. best athlete in high school. I mean, I I wouldn't say that was, like, my plan. Sure. Like, I just – I really love competing, and I always love doing it at a high level, and with wrestling, that took me to the world championships, mm-hmm. and with football later on, it took me to – uh the all-american game so that was never really like my plan to like be the best like i just freshman year was to win a state title that year and yeah. then do whatever i could in football and baseball or track or whatever it was and then sophomore year same thing and it kind of all just piled up yeah i i ask you this do you think that you are the greatest iowa high school athlete of uh, all time maybe even in the united states <laughs> i wouldn't say the united I would, states i don't really dude it's you got quite the resume i mean yeah i don't know i don't i don't really like to uh boost yourself yeah it's i mean it's hard you're to too humble yeah <laughs> we're here to boost you up <laughs> you're the goat <laughs> yeah. i mean it's hard to say like oh i'm the best like i mean uh i mean usually you just let your work do, do the talking right so mm-hmm. but i mean yeah i've accomplished some pretty good things and it's just the beginning so i mean 
I'm, I guess you, I would say I'm up there. Okay. That's what I would say. Interesting. Yeah. So you said you played in the All American football game. Yeah. Like what is what? It, what so is it's that? the Under Armour All American game. I have my jersey over there. I don't know, we can grab it later. Sure. But uh, yeah, so uh, it's just the top. Like I think there was like 80 kids there, and uh, we went to Orlando, Florida for like a week and a half. And oh, wow. yeah, so we practiced for a couple of days, and we we got to do a bunch of cool stuff and just. It was sweet, and then we uh, played a game against each other. You split them in half and play yeah, each other? Yeah, so you split the best players in half and do that. And so it was interesting because, like, wrestling, I've been doing that my whole life. Like, I've been doing stuff like that mm-hmm. on the national stage. So I kind of – I knew somewhat to expect, but, like, it was football, and I've never really competed. I mean, I play Iowa high school football. Yeah. Like, it's nothing like Florida or Texas right. or California. So I wasn't sure what to expect, but, I mean, it was, it was unreal. It was sweet. I think uh, – Linebackers, so I'm the 11th uh, best linebacker, I guess, in the country, and ESPN's rankings or whatever. Okay. And so there they had the one, two, three, and five. Oh. So, and I, I didn't know that. I, I, I had no idea. And so I showed up for my first practice, practice, thought I did good, thought I fit in. And then I was talking to some guys, and they're like, oh, yeah, there's the one, two, three. And <laughs> Man. So, yeah, I was like, holy cow. Like, it's just, it was, it was an unreal experience. Do you see to, that as like competition, or are you more like, man, that's cool? Like, what can I, I guess, um, yeah, I mean, obviously it's competition, but like, it was just for me, I guess it was just to see if I fit in, like Mm. if I belong there with that group and I proved it to yourself. Yeah, definitely. Just proving it to myself, I guess you could say. And I think I did. Hmm. Did your team win the game? Yeah, we did. Uh, so it was cool. So it was me and then, uh, JJ Cole who's at Iowa state. He's an Iowa kid. So there's two Iowa kids and we're on the same team. So yeah, we won, I think it was like 14 to seven, but it was sweet. Oh, I mean, we uh we had like six or seven linebackers, and we just rotated every drive. Okay. And so it was pretty neat. Yeah, it was cool. Do you think you're well known for wrestling or football? Uh, I'd say better known for wrestling. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I don't know. It's tough. Fo- football is definitely like a bigger uh, fan base, I guess you could say, when it comes to that. So I don't know. It'd be interesting to see like the statistics on that and stuff like that. Yeah, I know it's probably like a stupid question, and I think we we maybe all know the answer. But I want to hear your take on. Why don't you think wrestling is as big as it is? Yeah. Or it's big as it can be. I don't know. It's it's just tough to say. I mean, because we do have people doing stuff like this, right? Podcasts and trying to grow the sport. But it's, I'd say a big thing is the rules that mm. go into it. Like, it's hard to, it's, I mean, it's hard to keep up because the rules are always changing, especially with that and stuff like that. And I feel like those other sports, like UFC, I mean, you just go in there, watch somebody sure. beat the crap out of somebody Good else, point. and you're like, okay, he wins. You know what I mean? <laughs> you like, can see a clear it's winner. It's pretty obvious, yeah. yeah. So, like, I'd say that's probably the biggest thing, but, but yeah, I'd, I'd probably say that for sure. How do you think is the best way to grow it? Yeah, that's a like tough one. Like, the single best way. Do you think it's on the competition side? Do you think it's something with the media side? Do you, is there something else? I don't know about that because like media wise I mean people are like I said doing stuff like this like it's it's right up there I would say with with other sports I'd say the biggest thing is just making it simple and easy to understand Mm. and that's tough like from the outside looking in and not knowing what's going on yeah but for sure it's because like once you're in this community it's it's pretty it's pretty fun you can't leave yeah it's it's (laughs) it's 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 insane so it's it's cool to be a part of that for sure Hmm. our coach should have that idea of the the video with oh. where you go, so we go to somebody on campus, show them like a, a, a three minutes of a wrestling match, and ask them at the end what was the score. Yeah, and they'll most likely have no idea. Yeah, but then you show them a football a, game. A fo- a, yeah, you show them a <laughs> clip of somebody scoring a touchdown. Yeah, what's the sure. score? Yeah. Everybody's gonna know the score. Yeah, yeah, so it's like, definitely. No, I agree with that, and I, I just wish like it did get more attention for how much work we put into it. Yeah, for sure. I, I feel like with how much work we're putting into it and sacrificing, because I mean. It, I, it's easy to say wrestlers put in the most work for sure for for their sport. So I just wish we got a little bit more out of it. Coming from you, how yeah. do wrestling practices compare to football practice? Yeah, it's I mean it's it's way harder. Yeah, <laughs> a lot harder. And uh, so when I wrestled at Worlds last summer, I got back and the next week we had our first football game. So like my coaches and like teammates were like, oh, are you gonna be in condition? Like like they're worried like I wasn't gonna be conditioned to play a full mm. football game. But what? I was wrestling all summer. And I, was like, I was like, it's, I'm gonna be fine. Like don't yeah. worry about me. And I ended up I ended up playing and stuff. So it was cool. But yeah, I mean, there's there's there you can't compare them. Mm. I mean, wrestling workouts are just so much more physically demanding. I would say. Yeah. And that that really helps when it comes to football and 
being able to last for full full four quarters. Yeah. Did four a lot years. of guys on your team, that on your football team, wrestle? In yeah, there's a good amount. There's definitely a good amount. And then uh, the kids in my class go in Iowa. There's like four wrestlers, I want to say, three From wrestlers. From your high school going to Iowa? No, just in my like in the class. Oh, okay. So there's like a kid from Indiana, Leighton Jones. He's a heavyweight. He's a, he's a wrestler. And then my roommate, Maddox, he was a wrestler and both state champs. And mm-hmm. so it's pretty so you're, neat. You're telling me that your teammates that were wrestlers didn't understand like – the grind that you put yeah. in with your conditioning. I mean, <laughs> some of them did, but like, no. I mean, I, I said in an interview, every, everybody only sees uh, like when you're performing. Nobody sees the stuff mm-hmm. outside of that. So it's it's easy to say, are you going to be ready? Like and stuff like that, because yeah. they don't they don't see what I'm doing and what I'm doing outside of that. So, but yeah, it was good. It was fun. Well, I, I heard you say really awesome quote. You said. Um, People see the 13 seconds I go into pitting this kid, mm-hmm. but they don't see my Monday to Sunday Yeah, what I do. Yeah. I thought that was pretty baller. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, <Baller. laughs> it was. It was. I don't know. I was kind of just on the spot. I just got done wrestling, so I was tired. They just started asking me questions, and I, uh, that's that's kind of what I came up with. But, I mean, I, there's a lot of truth to that, too. Yeah. So, But, I mean, yeah, like you were saying earlier, I mean, it would be cool to be able to document that. So I don't. So people can see that Monday through sure. Sunday for sure. But yeah, what was your total mat time at state this last uh, year? It was so, uh, so leading up to state, I made a bet with my coach if I pinned everybody in like in total. Yeah. If I was under a minute going to the state finals, he had to uh, buy me a steak dinner. Oof. And I think going into the semis, I was probably at like thirty something seconds. It was funny too because that same coach I made the bet with. I wrestled his uh, brother first round. <laughs> no way. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, there's a clip of me pinning him in, like, 13 seconds, and I, and I just get up. I cradle him. I get up. I see my coach in the stands. I just – I have the biggest yeah, smile on yeah, my face. Yeah. I'm just laughing. I thought it was hilarious. Man. And so, I, yeah, I got a little over a minute going into the finals just because – Leading up to that, my coach was like, hey, just have fun, man. Like, we know you can do it. Like, just <laughs> yeah. go out there. Just, oh, that's just right. You tech fall it. in the finals, right? Yeah, finals, it was a tech fall. That, kid's, that kid was frustrating to wrestle. I wrestled him probably 12 times in my oh, high really? school career. Mm. So, it's tough wrestling somebody 12 times. Oh, they have a pretty yeah. good idea. Yeah. So, man. But, I, yeah. I feel like after that first match, you could almost taste that steak. Yeah. No, I, I, yeah, I, was, I was having a good time for sure. I was like, I'm definitely getting this Did steak. Did you end up getting the steak? No, he never bought me. What? what? No, uh-uh. Would you, wait, would you go like to like a store and buy it or would you go to like an Outback Well, we were in Des Moines, so I figured he would have just went somewhere nice and got me a steak, but. It That's a good point. Never happened. This is your football coach, right? Wrestling coach. He's oh, this is your football, wrestling he's coach. He's a football coach as well. Oh. Oh, they do both? Yeah, he, he coaches both. He's a D-line coach and then helps with the wrestlers. Oh, oh that's pretty cool. Is that yeah. his like full-time job then? Uh, he's a student at Iowa. Oh. Yeah, that's why. So like his brother, so he's pretty young. So yeah. I think he was a, he's a senior at Iowa, I believe, and so he's gonna go into teaching next year and stuff like oh, that. Oh yeah. So Dang. yeah, Coach Schultz is his name. He's he's pretty good dude. That's cool. Yeah. So I bet this is really hard to pick between. Yeah. And it's probably you probably I don't know, but like, did one of the coaches like stick out in like forming like, transform you into like the person you are like between your football coach and your wrestling coach? Yeah. So. Football wise, we got a new coaching change my junior year, and that man, uh, Mitch Moore, he he turned me into the football player I am today. A, a big part of the man I am today is because of him. But wrestling wise, it's uh, Coach uh, Corey Connell, and I would say I I am the wrestler and uh, person I am today because of him. He's just super into it. Like I mean, I was really fortunate enough to have him because he he cares so much about it. Like. You could be in the middle of the summer, and he'll have our workouts planned for the entire next year. Oh, wow. Like, every awesome. practice. I mean, he gets us these books that we, we can write in after every practice. Like, he's he's a man. And a lot of and a lot of people will say it. Like, Gabe Arnold came this year, mm-hmm. freaking loved him. So, he's, he's, he's a good dude. For sure. Man, that's cool. Yeah. Um, so, you just graduated high school. Yeah, have, so I had my uh, ceremony Sunday, not yesterday, but I was done with classes like three months ago, and the second try. Wait, what? <laughs> How were you done with school that early? Uh, so I, I finished all my classes. I got all my credits, and I talked to my principal, and I was like, hey, can I can I graduate? Just have more time to work yeah. out and eat and sleep pretty much. Eat and sleep, <laughs> work out. There you go. Yeah, that's, that's, it's a pretty good routine. That's, that's what I've been doing. But And he was like, yeah, for sure. So I did that, and that's what I've been doing for the last three months, eat, sleep, work out. Really? So that you've just been chilling at home and yeah. working out? Man, so ha- have you um, gone into the Iowa room to roll around at all? Yeah, so it works out. I can be a part of the club or whatever. Okay. I work out with the club. So. Oh, like the RTC? Yeah, the RTC. So I've done that for a long time, probably like a year now, I would say. Oh, so, wow. yeah, I've, yeah, I'm have, I've been there. 
do you have anything that's like sticking out like that's different from high school room to like going in the Iowa room whether yeah. it be the coaches wrestlers I'd say the biggest thing is like it's on you like I mean a lot of it is like individual and I'm any college athlete would say that like yeah. with, with wrestling it's it's really on you but you are in a really great environment to ask questions and mm-hmm. to learn and to because everybody just thinks like oh it's just intense like just grind like that's just Iowa wrestling but it's it's really not like Tom Brands is one of the most technical wrestlers in the world, and it's just crazy to be able to pick his brain and ah. Bobby Telford and Terry Brands and just just everybody Morningstar. So sure, it's it's really cool to be able to do that at a, at a young age. Yeah, no, that is a great system. Yeah, how often do you spend like either lifting weights in the in the wrestling room or just outside? Do you go to a gym? Yeah, so I go to a gym. I don't I don't lift weights in the restroom. I have, I have a trainer that I live with. I go to his house. He has a he has a gym at his house. Oh, so yeah, I go and lift with him and do a lot of one on one stuff with him. But yeah. Not a lot of lifting, and but a lot of the lifting I do will correlate to my wrestling and stuff. And it does and, both, wrestling yeah. and football. Yep. There's not, like, two different... No, nope, I don't have two different things. Um, Can I ask your max? Max bench, <laughs> yeah. squat, deadlift? Yeah, so my bench is, like, 315, I want to say. So, I mean, nothing crazy. Sure. Yeah, I mean, there's there's kids benching, like, 400, so it's <laughs> just insane. And then uh, for squat, it's uh, 425. And then I haven't I haven't maxed out on cleans or anything like that. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I love bench. I really like bench, but squats it's hard because I'm long. Like I'm yeah. really pretty tall, so I've always worked on just trying to get like the form right. And then my coach is like, get the form right, and the weight will come with it. So, sure, that makes so sense. So I'm excited to see that. I gotta try more like landmine squats. Yeah. That's what I heard uh-huh. because it's like think, if you think about a squat like in wrestling, you're not really. Maybe you're sure you're standing up, but yeah. if you have like a landmine, like where it's you're holding that barbell, this is what Bartlett was talking to us about. Yeah. I haven't tried it yet. I said I would, but I feel like that's so correlated to wrestling yeah. and even football, like driving up. Uh huh. Definitely. Man, just explosive stuff. Explosive so, stuff for sure. I need to get on like a better plan. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'm excited because I start my list next week and I just got my schedule for it actually. So oh, for nice. Iowa football, so because you cool. you go off to Iowa football here this next week. Yeah, I move in Sunday. I think ten to one is when we can move in. So. Yeah, it's pretty pretty crazy. Into a dorm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's going to be tough, man. And we're the only people there, so it'll just be a bunch of football players in a dorm. So, Have you talked to much of the team at all yet? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I so football's a little different than wrestling. Like, wrestling, you have the club, so you can somewhat be a part of the team, I guess you could say. Like, you kind of know everybody. But football-wise, you can't practice or do anything with them. So uh, I would just go and, like, sit at the meetings and, like, watch practice, and that was, that was about what I could do. Oh, so, yeah. Interesting. So, yeah, I'm excited. Do you have times at practice where it's like no no pads, no contact practice? Or I guess you probably do have no contact practices. Yeah, but. for sure. I, most of the practices I went to, they 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 had helmets, pads, and so. But, yeah. I remember go- football practice when I was, like, in fifth grade. Dude. And for, like, over the week, like a whole – or two weeks, you couldn't, like, have contact. You just wore a helmet. Really? And I just wanted to get the pads and just smash uh, guys. Yeah. That's did, my favorite part about did, football. Didn't you start with tackle in third grade? Yeah, I started tackle football in third, third grade. See, yeah, we can't do it until, like, middle school. Really? Third yeah. grade would be so yeah. fun. I think they're leaning – or going away from that. Oh. I think a lot of it's now is, like, you'll have pads and a helmet and then it's flag football. Oh. So, so it's a little different. That's okay. how it is in Iowa right now, I think, at least. So uh, – yeah, when I was when I was growing up, it was it was tackle football. Yeah. Dude, just picture little kids just laying each other. Oh out. yeah, it was so fun. <laughs> Dude, imagine the guys who are like so mature at their age. Yeah, and like some little. <gasps> yeah, were you how? I was always like on the bigger end, I guess you could say, and like taller. So okay. tackle football was fun for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just not the other kids. Yeah, <laughs> not the running. back. I, I think I played running back when I when I was growing up. So dang. But yeah, in high school, did you play? Were you only defense? No, I played both. I. I so my junior year, we were pretty good, we made the state semis, and so offense, I was really only a tight end. Okay. And that's when I played on offense, but my, uh, and then I played defense, obviously, but my senior year, we graduated a lot of people, so we were missing stuff, and then I think by the end of the year, I was playing receiver, running back, I'd get direct snaps at quarterback, oh, tight man. end, and yeah, so it was a lot, but we needed it, so yeah. I did it. Were there any players on your junior year team that went to a, like on to a division one school yeah so my actually my best friend uh he's at iowa state right now he's a linebacker so he's oh. playing there too and then we had another kid uh as we were talking about dan earlier he, dan uh, gable has a grandkid who uh who's playing baseball right now at iowa and oh, so he's baseball. He, yeah he got there in their regionals or whatever so he's he was playing the other day so it's kind of cool to see thing were you but, always just a two-sport athlete no i, I played everything everything up. yeah i played soccer baseball track and everything dude i missed 
doing a lot of sports. Yeah. Like, I missed yeah. like baseball, just hitting a ball. Now I can't hit a ball to save my life. <laughs> like football, just. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's always just like so fun just competing in yeah. different yeah. things. Like I wanted to play baseball this summer and this, this obviously, honestly, this uh, spring. Cause okay. like wasn't doing a lot of wrestling and I wanted to compete in something. Yeah. And, but my parents were like, no, you can't play baseball again. Just, <laughs> just get ready for college, man. So I was a little frustrated with that, but, but yeah. When uh, you were wanting to do, of course, going to college sports, there's yeah. gotta be a time where you talk to your football coach or the brands and say, Hey, I also want to do the other sport. I also want to do two at the same time. Yeah. Did they, how did they take that? Was it like, did they think about it? Like, yeah. So, Obviously, wrestling reached out before football because I, I, my football recruitment didn't really pick up till my junior year. Mm-hmm. And then so uh, wrestling was – I reached out first in wrestling, and they're like – they didn't know me for football, so they're like, hey, we want you to be – wrestler here. Like, we want you to be an Iowa, Iowa Hawkeye, and we want you to wrestle. And then so my – I was already a pretty good wrestler at the time. And then my junior year, uh, the football started to pick up, and their biggest thing was we just want you to be a Hawk. So, and that was either me playing football and not wrestling or me wrestling and not playing football. Okay. And I was like, well, I'm a kid. Like, I don't want to make a decision where I have to quit one sport for the rest yeah. of my life. And I could regret that. So I was like, can I do both? And they're like, yeah. Man. So their biggest thing is they just want me to be a hawk. And wow. I thought it would be a harder process. I'm sure you've been asked this question a million times. Yeah. Like, which sport would you choose? But I just want to make up like fake scenario because yeah. we've been doing these. <laughs> we love and, fake scenarios. Yeah. For sure. And, uh. So let's just say, like you do your first year, you do two sports your first year, mm-hmm. and and Tom Tom Brands just just comes out and says like, I want you to only focus on wrestling. Yeah. Like you have to choose one or the other. Yeah. And like, what do you, what do you? That'd be tough. I mean, if say I start and I do really good in wrestling, then okay, yeah, I'll probably wrestle, right? And if I don't, and I just don't really know where I'm at, then maybe not. But it's it's I don't know. It's interesting all the ways it could go. Yeah. But yeah for sure well just i'm just gonna ask you this straight out question yeah you can take this whatever way you want Uh uh-huh how do you see your destiny of where your life is going yeah like if everything happened perfectly how would you do it yeah so i'd probably play a couple years of college football and then win win a couple ncaa titles in wrestling and then probably go play nfl play in the nfl and because that's i mean that's financially that probably makes the most sense right and it's funny. I, I was joking with uh, Spencer and uh, Jacob Warner before he uh, Spencer left for uh, Japan, and he was like, you, "You just have to win a couple of national titles before before you go to the NFL." Yeah. I was like, "All right, I'll, I'll do that. I'll make sure to do that." And uh, Warner's a big uh, Bears fan, so I was like, I'm, and "I like the Bears too." So if mm-hmm. I played for them, I told him I'd get him some tickets. You yeah. s- what What would be your dream team? Bears. Would it be the Bears? Yeah, I grew up like in the Bears. So. That's Come on, that really man. sucks. Come uh, on, that man. really sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but, yeah, I wouldn't be picky though. I mean, it's the NFL, so yeah. probably wherever. I mean, let's take like the money out of it. Yeah. Like, if you had to choose between a Super Bowl ring or an Olympic gold medal, probably Olympic gold medal for sure. Really? Yeah. I mean, that's just the most, I guess, satisfaction. I guess you could say sure. for like the work you put into it. Okay. Like, I mean, winning that world title last year, like that was better than any football, any anything that I've ever accomplished. So that's, that was great. So yeah, definitely an Olympic title for yeah. sure. Over well, Lord. Like think about it base, like football and wrestling are so different being football. You have your whole team. It's like right. a family, right? Yeah. You got 10 other guys. Yeah. on the field. So you, you not saying you will, but you can like pass the blame off to whatever, if things don't go well or whatever, but wrestling, if you fail, if you win, you're the only guy out there. Yeah. It's yeah, you. I mean, if you fail, it's on you, but oh. if you also do get, it's on you. Yes, absolutely. So. And I think having that gold medal and just being like, this was me. This yeah. wasn't, of course, your coaches, of course, your teammates. Right. Yeah. There's so much stuff that goes into it. Uh-huh. But that's you. Yeah. Like, that's you. I that's know. sick. Yeah. That, that's, that's, and to me, that's, that's cool to think about for sure. Let's add on to it. You win the Super Bowl MVP award on yeah. top of that. All right. That, that might make things a little <laughs> tougher. But yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's just kind of cool to think about all the different yeah. things that could happen with yeah. where I'm at right now. You could do both. Imagine. I mean, yeah, I think there's there's <laughs> like some people Jackson? that have done that. Yeah. Right. I mean, play a couple of years in the NFL and then go wrestle or something, or do a couple of years of wrestling and then go play in the NFL. So. Could there ever be a uh, a WWE MMA? I don't know about that. I feel like personally, I feel like that stuff's pretty like I don't Lame? know if you could say it fake or. Lame. Whatever, <laughs> like, it is it fake. Is, yeah. <laughs> so I don't. I, personally, I wouldn't do that. Okay. But yeah. yeah. I don't blame you. Yeah. Well, Caden. Uh, Caden was saying 
man, dude, like, I, I hope I can start, I'm going to ask him if I can start the podcast wearing his world title belt. Yeah, I was, I was like, dude, how cool that would be a block Hey, it's right over there if you want to put it on. Is it actually? Yeah. Can we see it? Dude, let's get it. Dude. You know, this will actually be my third world title I put on because I won the other two. Yeah, okay. Oh, thank you. Wow. Dude. This is real gold too, guys, and real <laughs> diamonds. Wow. What does it say? Freaking world champion. What do you think it says? <laughs> U20 freestyle, 97 kg, United World Wrestling, world champion, 2022. Dude. Take a look at that bad boy. Zoom in on that. That thing is sick. Yeah, so funny story about that. I couldn't uh, <laughs> fit it in my bag on the way home. Shut up, dude. Damn. So I had to wear it on the airplane the dude, entire way. This is quality. I mean, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. Damn. Yeah. I'm going to give it to you. I don't feel worthy. <laughs> yeah, but I got some weird looks in the airport having that on my uh, waist the entire way home. Jeez. Yeah. Dude, that thing. Yeah, that was a crazy experience. What, what's sweet. this belt over here? Uh, That was uh the preseason and postseason nationals, like, trilogy or whatever, I guess you could say. Like, if you won preseason nationals, then another tournament, and then you won postseason, you get that belt. Oh, okay. So, so we, I know you get a belt for... uh. The Super 32? Did you ever yeah. wrestle on that? I did my eighth grade year. I got third. Oh, really? Yeah, so I uh, just with football going on, I can never like, I oh, can never go to that. that's right. Uh, even I though I wanted to. But, yeah, that's a great tournament. Yeah, so I really sure. wanted to go to that. That's sure. clearly your favorite thing you've ever won. Yeah, for title. sure. I mean, it's, it's a world title belt. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. <laughs> it's kind of hard to beat that. Man. But, yeah. I got just a random question. Uh-huh. Have you ever worked a job? Like flipping patties, I haven't. I, my dad dad owns a carpet cleaning business, so I've had to work with him a couple oh, times. Okay. But that, that's probably the closest thing I've had to working. Damn. So, my parents always say if you just stick to your uh, athletics and stuff like that, we'll we'll take care of the rest. So wow, that's awesome. But did yeah. they like? Have you always been like at such an elite level? Like, was it maybe your your parents just kind of like bred you that way, or is it almost like we know he's gonna be good? Yeah, so I think growing up, I was just really competitive. Like, I just, whatever I did, I wanted to win, and it mm-hmm. didn't matter what it was, if it was sprints at recess at sure. school. or And so with wrestling, I mean, it's a really competitive sport, and that was something I really enjoyed about it. So uh, growing up, I mean, there'd be weekends where I'd go to two, and if there was, if I didn't have school Friday, I'd go to three wrestling tournaments. Yeah. So, I mean, it was just super intense growing up, and I just, I really enjoyed it. And I won my first, like, state title, and second grade and i was like oh this feels great i want to keep doing it <laughs> so i think that's kind of where it started but yeah how many youth state titles did you win uh so we our state tournament here is like a U state is what they call it and i think you can win six and i won five wow yeah it's a good deal yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty sweet that's so, a, it's a little bit more than us too combined combined, <laughs> yeah. we, combined we got zero. <laughs> oh, in youth they do. combined in their whole careers we have won <laughs> <laughs> that's true good point uh, it's funny my seventh grade year the year i didn't win it was uh one of my team our future teammates uh caleb rachi he's like a 149 pounder now okay. at iowa he actually won it my bracket that year so it's kind of oh, funny were you mad when you won when you lost i was pretty upset but i i think i ended up getting like fifth or something maybe like oh, fifth man. or six i lost a couple times yeah i was pretty pissed off yeah so when you were training for the for worlds did you get to go to like the olympic training center or anything yeah so they uh yeah i got to go out there for like a week that, that was a pretty cool experience but most of my training was at the rtc was there any like big name guys you got to meet uh, or maybe even wrestle with i did like a bible study with uh Jaden cox but oh never, really yeah i never really got to like wrestle with them that, that was pretty neat and He's uh, him and Gabe are actually cousins, I believe. So I've gotten really close to, not close, I would say, but pretty cool with Jaden and stuff like mm-hmm. that. With him being here and stuff sometimes, and but yeah, that was probably the coolest person I definitely definitely met out there. But I got I got to wrestle with a lot of guys like uh, Lenny Pinto, who's at okay. at Nebraska and stuff like that, and then uh, that Silas Allred, who's also at Nebraska. Sure. So yeah, I got I got to wrestle with a lot of a lot of cool dudes. Cool. I, I want to touch on based on two things. One about Jaden, but the other one, um, you know, you said you did a Bible study. Yeah, I know you have. Uh, Philippians 4.13. Yeah. So how, how has faith played a role in your life? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's a huge part. It's just growing up. My parents were like, yep, going to church on Sunday. Like, that that was kind of the routine. And then once once you kind of grow up and you mature, like, it's you want to do that, right? You want to get closer to God and be able to experience that. So it's it's really been a big part of my, my career, I guess you could say. I f- Before every match, I say a little prayer to myself. Before every game, I say a little prayer to myself just to 
stay strong throughout the match and just be healthy and just be able to compete at my best yeah, and stuff it. like that. So it, it makes it pretty easy to be able to go out there and just just wrestle. Yeah. I mean, it's just wrestling at the end of the day. So No, that's true. Uh, I mean, even this past year, um, just talking based like on um, – our, you know our christianity um even us we've had some guys on the wrestling team we've had like kind of a group we go to yeah. uh like every wednesday at least we try to make it every wednesday yeah. um and we have like our bible study there so yeah. we felt like you know closer connection and whatnot and me and my girlfriend actually found a church recently we've really never gone like, yeah four years of like going out and then this is like the time when we're like i think we really want to do this and mm-hmm. so we're really just diving deep in our face so yeah i like sure. hearing your story yeah. too there uh, yeah that's cool i'm, I'm really excited because uh iowa they have this uh athletes in action program okay and that's just like we were saying just getting closer to god and be able to meet up with people that that want to want to be on the same path as you so yeah. and uh coach uh Birak on the wrestling team he's, he's played a big role in that and helping me uh i guess navigate through that i guess you could say sure for sure going back to Jaden cox yeah so he said, you know, he's super cool dude he hung out with. He was the first, I guess, popular or very good wrestler that we've made oh, contact yeah. with, really? actually. And this was well before – this podcast wasn't even a thing three months ago. Mm-hmm. But how long ago was this? This had to be – Six, seven, eight years ago? Eight? Dude, you didn't okay, even it YouTube it. Seven it was probably – my sophomore year of high school, so five years, yeah. four years. Five years ago. Oh, yeah. And – I reached out to him to do like a podcast on my channel, yeah. which was like, a it thing. was just like an interview. Yeah, It was like an interview. I, like, minutes. I couldn't even record on my computer cause I didn't know how really? I had like a camera recording my yeah. computer screen <laughs> That's awesome. and I had like Crosby and another buddy like sitting up on my bed and we were like, dude, I'm talking to Jane Cox <laughs> right now. Um, That's and awesome. he, he actually came down for like a camp at through like Askren mm-hmm. and it was, you know, good camp learned, learned a bit. And we took a, like a picture at the end yeah. and, he was saying that if we'd ever want to go down to like the Olympic training center yeah. when we're like not in high school, very yeah. young, we're like, we can do that. And at really? the time it was like, maybe we just got our license and it was like, dude, like, is he kidding? Like, we didn't really know what we're doing, Yeah, but, but we'll definitely have to get him on the pod and yeah, do some for stuff sure. I mean, he's a great dude, super, super down to earth and just easy to talk to. So he's, he's a really good guy. Yeah. He's wrestling Snyder this weekend, I think, yeah. right? Yep. Final X. Who you got there? Ooh, I don't know. That's tough. tough. Are it you, is tough. Are you going in person? I, I'm not. No. Nope. I uh, I wrestled the U.S. Open, and if if I won that, I was going to go. Oh. But other than that, nah, I'll probably watch it online, though. So. Why did you decide to do the U.S. Open? Yeah, so, I mean, I guess I couldn't uh, go to Worlds, U20 Worlds or anything like that with football going on. Mm-hmm. So that, that was pretty tough. So I figured might as well just start the college-level competition, I guess you could say, uh, now. And then... Yeah, I mean, I've I've already done I guess most most of what I could do at U twenties, and I mean it would be fun to do it again. But I feel like it's it would also be cool to kind of continue and do something else. So coaches were like, "Yeah, let's wrestle seniors," and it's like, "All right, let's do it." I remember. So we were at we wrestled U twenty threes last year, and when you were at wrestling U twenties, I remember my other teammate was saying like, "Yeah, this kid's like <laughs> he's he's like." He's gonna win this today. He's gonna go on to worlds, and this like he's not even. This isn't even his best sport. Yeah, and it's like no, that 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 whole experience. Like it just it felt like a dream. It mm-hmm. feels like a dream. Like just how everything came in a line and just worked out. And it's just yeah, it was it was great. I remember when you were warming up before that match. Yeah, and you know you had those like the Seabolt singlets, like yep. with the Superman. Yeah, the Superman. And so like you had your headphones on. You're in your singlet. You're just about to go out. And I remember walking past because you know we were competing, whatever. And I'd be like. Dude, who, look up at you, I'm like so sure. He's like, yeah, and I'm like, he's got Superman. I'm like, dude, this is the uh, yeah. man. And I'm like, wait, dude, how? He's you 20? Yeah. And to think like he wasn't, he was a what, junior at the time. Yeah, that's my first year at U20s. Man. I still have one more year after this at U20s. Oh my gosh. Yeah, dude, that was that was cool. I know it, it was it was a great experience. And that was my first time. I, don't, I think it was Tom or Terry. I don't yeah. know which one it was. But they're just like watching your matches, laser focused on it. Yeah. I was like, holy crap, That, that crap, was also dude. a big part of why I competed at the level I did. I was like, oh, I got coach brands watching my yeah. match. I, I gotta lock in and really wrestle smart. And I did. I mean, I didn't really, I didn't tech them or anything like that. But every second of those matches, it was just smart wrestling. Do you deal yeah. better with pressure? Yeah, I think so. I don't, I don't really feel, I guess, pressure like that. Like other people, like, I mean, like personally, like this is how I look at it. Like it's just wrestling. Like it's. No matter what happens, the sun co- the sun is sure. coming up tomorrow, right? So it's it makes that that makes it pretty easy to uh, go out and compete and just wrestle and have fun, just wrestle at a high level. But I'm competitive too, so obviously I, I want to win and 
but yeah i mean it's it's fun i enjoy mm. it for sure how did you keep the nerves off you for, like the you did the same thing for your world title match the world championship match yeah. same routine you're saying yeah, yeah same routine yep, same routine yep everything it was like it was it was pretty surreal being there but it was just like just another wrestling match yeah right and my coaches growing up preaching like every match it's the same whether that's the world finals and it's actually it's kind of crazy to say like oh i'm actually in the world finals now <laughs> yeah. and it's like whether it's the world finals or just some some duel or anything like that so it's that's kind of how it's always been every match is the same nothing's different did your family go out to watch you? yeah yep oh, i had uh, my parents went my grandpa aunt and uncle so did, I had a good crew out there. Did like USA Wrestling cover that, or did they- nope? They uh, they just covered mine, and so they they stayed at a different hotel, and I think they covered mine. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. And, where is this uh, at? Uh, Bulgaria. That's right. So yep. you, is that where you were gonna go for Greco? Ah oh, man, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he was. Yeah, that's you. Twenty three. I was. An, I made the best of three finals, and I won the first match. Okay. And okay. I don't. I've never wrestled Gre- Greco practice in mm-hmm. like two years. Me and him rolled around gut wrenches one day in <laughs> yeah. our high school room. Just whatever. I, I I've always been good at Greco because, like, of course I wrestle folk style. Like I keep good position. Yeah. But when I get like on top, I'm lifting you and I'm right. just like reverse yeah. gut. And I made the. I won the first match, and then like six five. Next match, I tossed him in a head throw. First ten seconds, have him on his back. Dead to rights. And chokes. And doesn't choke. pin him. I don't pin him. He ends up winning. Next match, he 10 0s me. No way. I, and That's that was crazy. like my chance yeah. of getting like a big stop sign. Yeah, Never yeah. placed that far ago. This year, uh, I just don't know how to defend getting thrown. So. <laughs> but, yeah. Man. No, that, tur- that tournament's always cool because that's like what you want to do. Like you want to make a, you want to make a team, sure. right? And then, so I made the team and I was like, oh crap, like I'm actually on the team now, right? So I have to, get, now I have to go win a world title. Yeah. So that was a crazy experience. Man, do you, with you twenties, so with you twenty threes, it's like there's already a guy in the spot, right? And then they can take the spot if they want. For you twenties, it's not like that. If you no, win it, so. you're the world team member no matter what, right? Uh, you, I don't think so because I talked you t- to you twenties. There's a guy sitting in the spot. You twenties? Yes, they're the best of three. No, I'm saying after the after the best of three, because for you twenty threes, even if you won, there's a guy that could have said. Oh, I think if he's age eligible, if he won on the senior level, then okay. he has it. Oh. If you win the senior level, you have it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I talked to Coach Green at the U.S. Open, and he was like, yeah, you're qualified for the trials tournament. But, like, I wasn't sitting in the two or three or anything like that. Okay. I okay, think that they makes changed sense. that. That's another thing with wrestling. It's hard to, like, we don't even maybe know. Right. Some yeah. Things, yeah, like, I, I could be wrong. <laughs> yeah, we that. all could be wrong. Yeah. And it's like, you'd think we'd know. Yeah. Man, just a confusing yeah. sport we're in. Yeah, it is. For sure. Would you ever try another position? Because I, th- would you ever be like a wide receiver in high school or running back? Uh, I guess with my body type, it's uh, it'd be pretty hard. I mean, most oh. wide receivers are like 180, 190. Yeah, I point. mean, like the best, like what I, uh, that was at the All American game. But who knows? Maybe tight end. I mean, I was known for their tight ends, so maybe I get switched okay. to tight end. So who knows? Sure, it makes sense. Yeah. Man, what what else do you do? Like. When you're at home, you got like four wheelers you ride back here? Yeah, yeah. So we have four wheelers, and actually in the winter, uh, it's pretty fun. We have a four wheeler, and then we tie a sled to the back of that. Oh, no yeah. way. Go, go. It's, it's, it's a pretty good fun time, but yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't really like hang out with Gabe. That's about it. I don't okay. really do much. Sleep. You guys like bowl or? <laughs> bowl, dude. <laughs> Not really. I mean, we play games sometimes, but yeah. I don't know. Like, like Xbox? Or yeah. Something? I mean, we'll play uh, Fortnite, Call of Duty. Oh, I mean, whatever. Are you good at Fortnite? I'm all right. Yeah. When uh, actually, uh, when Cody uh, Chittum was here, he he really big into games, like super big into games. And so I, I'd always play video games with him and played Fortnite on his PC and oh. stuff. So I was like, oh, I gotta get a PC. You're a PC player? I wasn't. And then I started hanging out with Cody, and he's like, he's super big into games. So he had a PC. Yeah. And I was like, okay. And then he he'd just be doing something, or I'd be at his place, and I'd just go on his PC and start playing Fortnite. Oh. I was like, dude. I gotta get a PC. You were college. playing mouse and keyboard? <laughs> yeah. I, I and can. you still do now? I, I don't as much just because he left. He's oh, at, right, right. He's at Iowa State now, so I don't really have a PC to play. But how did that whole situation come up? Yeah, it was weird. So, uh, I mean, it wasn't really weird. and But, I mean, we were just hanging out, and it's just like, yeah, I'm leaving tomorrow. Oh. Kind of. But, like, we, you kind of had a idea for a little bit, but, and yeah. I mean, that's probably as much as I'll go into it just because, like, sure. it's his business. Yeah, so, it's point. like he, he, he can say it. But, yeah, that was tough to see him leave, but, I mean – Hope nothing but the best for him, cause I mean we're we're good friends, and I ho- hope he does really well. But yeah, just 
Hope he does good. We'll see him at the duel. Yeah, I know. That, that'd <laughs> be a pretty crazy duel because uh, apparently Anthony's been talking, and if he wrestles, and he wants to wrestle that way. So that'd be a pretty pretty hyped up hyped yeah, up match. I would say. What so. were your thoughts when Angelo committed? Yeah, I thought it was great. I, I had a pretty good feeling that he was. He uh, I was with him a lot when he was here on his visit, and okay. so he seemed to have a really good time. But yeah, it was it was it was exciting. It was cool. Do you have any inside information if a third is coming? <laughs> I don't have any inside information about that. I feel like there's like still steps for that to happen anywhere really. Sure. But uh, yeah, he actually uh, came and trained at one of our camps at Iowa. And I got a roll with him, so that that was pretty crazy. Oh, AJ How is that? Yeah. or Angelo? AJ. AJ. Yeah, it was crazy. I mean, he's national champ, right? Sure. So it was, it was pretty sweet. And he's he's super he's super down to earth guy, super cool. Like he's just fun to be around. But it was it was great being able to wrestle him and stuff. You feel strong? Yeah, he's he's really strong. His his doubles are pretty <laughs> explosive too. There's a couple times where I was like, whoa, but, dude. You see like the videos of him. Uh, so he, I think he trains with uh, George or Harry Masvidal, yeah. And he start like fights backstage I know, yeah. or at the hotel oh, and stuff. Yeah. It's crazy to see that stuff, and then you actually talk to the guy, and, and he's like, like nothing like what you not see him at all. <laughs> he's, like, he's a really cool guy, actually. So man, well, I mean, so much of that is like being like a showmanship. Yeah, you have, yeah. You have to make things interesting, and that's also something I think that could really grow the sport too. Is great point. Yeah. Trash talking. What do you think about that? Would you I ever love go into it. that? I love it. I think it's great. I personally, I don't think I would just call somebody out because I just, I'm more of the, I'll let my wrestling do yeah. the talking, but yeah, I mean, football is, there's a lot of trash oh, talking yeah. on the and, field. Oh I'm, yeah. It's, it's yeah. And that's something I do, do a lot of trash talking in this football, I would say. But, uh, yeah, I think that'd be great. It just gets more people involved. I mean, you look at, uh, Curtis Sirachi, like the stuff he puts out, like people love that. And then Gabe comments on something of his and yeah. more people see that. Like, I think. I made a video about that, yeah. and I it, I didn't think it would explode. I posted it to TikTok. I think just yeah. TikTok. And it got like you know, 70, 80,000 likes, like yeah, 500,000 views. Yeah, and it's just crazy. like, just talking about this kid called him out. Yeah. Like that is makes things like, whoa, if these guys two meet, everyone's going to watch. Yeah, exactly. It makes and, it so cool. Yeah. And it, that was funny. That was a funny story because we were watching the duel in our hotel room. We were at a wrestling tournament, and he's like, I'm going to post on Twitter. <laughs> 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 and I go on Twitter, and he posts that. I was like, oh, all right. That's that uh, happened. Crosby actually started the Clash of Combat Twitter. Yeah, oh okay, you, you got to talk more trash. <laughs> yeah, that. I should. Mm -hmm. I, I started it when uh, was it the U.S. Open? I think. And yes, I just was like throwing out just a bunch of dumb yeah, stuff on there, sure. like kind of like a Barcelona or something. Yeah, like, that. like I should start doing that. You more. should. Yeah, it'd be fun. But I feel like Twitter is hard to get followers on for some reason because it's hard to like. Yeah, Twitter is weird. I've yeah, noticed nice. that. So it's a little bit different. Yeah, but I don't really dabble in it. I yeah. definitely should. But so what do you what do you walk around at? I'm like 221, 222 right now. And you're wrestling heavyweight? Yeah. Are you planning on getting bigger? Yeah, or? Yep, definitely getting bigger, getting a lot bigger. I uh, So football, they want me at like 240, I would say. Uh, Jack Campbell, I don't know if you know that name. He just got drafted by the Lions. He was a, the best linebacker in the country last year, and that's he was about 6'5", 240, 245. So I guess that's kind of the body type they see me in. I feel like that fit in perfect with how heavyweights wrestle nowadays, being 240, being a quick, explosive yeah, heavyweight. Yeah. So I think it'll work out great. And uh, Iowa football, actually, uh, they spend the most money in the Big Ten on nutrition, oh. stuff like that. Oh. Yeah, that was something I learned at uh, my visit. And so I feel like I'm in a really good good place to put on good weight. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. What was I going to say? I was going to say something important. <laughs> my my cousin is uh he's like i don't know six six and he's like mm -hmm. big like lineman yeah. um and he's i think he's going in this uh his sophomore year okay. but i know that like they just feed you and oh, feed yeah. you and like they need you big and strong yeah and, no i got my schedule and there's like schedules of when we eat and stuff yeah. and it's just like it's insane so you're you got a schedule for uh football yeah i'm sure you got you know a whole stack of whatever and yeah then wrestling it's no eating gotta Lose weight. <laughs> yeah. Well, but that's they, thankfully, not for you. Yeah. thankfully not for you. Yeah. But. Oh, that, I, I enjoy the sport so much because yeah. I don't have to do that. I, I did a lot of cutting weight when I was growing up. And that kind of a lot of times you start doing it for the wrong reasons. And I think that's a big thing, too, with wrestling nowadays. You got kids cutting 10, 15 pounds just, just to make a weight and then get fifth or third or something at a tournament, mm -hmm. like not do good. Like it's it's silly. Just wrestle what you weigh and go compete that, that's a really great point i felt so much happier wrestling yeah. in 23s this year by not cutting weight definitely it worked, it worked out really well yeah <laughs> 
And I'm I, sure I saw it would worked out well if I cut too. <laughs> I saw a couple highlights of you just throwing juice. So that was sweet. But yeah. Yeah, my freshman year, I cut like 15 pounds, and I wasn't practicing at wrestling to get better at moves or get better at wrestling. I was practicing to lose weight. Yeah. And huh. So it just wasn't wasn't the best thing. Yeah, it probably takes the enjoyment out of yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Damn. Do you ever do any like water sports? Water nope. Sports? Like getting on a boat, tubing. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant like swimming or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was like, yeah. no, 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 not swimming. I probably, I mean, yeah. Diving. Yeah, for sure. I, I mean, I love boating and stuff like that, but yeah. Don't do it too much. You have a, do you have a boat? No. Oh, okay. No, I always just, I fish a lot. So I do a lot of fishing. So my friends, they have, uh, they have boats and stuff. So we always go out on their boats and fish. Do so. you have like a secret fishing spot? Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I have a couple. There's actually a pond right up the road, and uh, there's oh, there's big bass in there, Ooh. pretty big bass. And uh, it's funny, there's a rule there. If you catch a bass under like a pound or two, it's just thrown on the bank. Oh. Yeah, I mean, he, he doesn't want us to keep it because he's just only big fish. Oh, because they're too small. Yeah, only big fish. But what if they grow? <laughs> I mean, but there's already... Oh, there's already so much in oh, there? Oh, there's already, yeah. I oh. mean, and I don't really catch those fish anymore. It's usually just three to four pounds, and then yeah. your occasional seven or... Dude, I want to get into fishing. I was telling them on the drive, yeah. like I, everywhere we go, sometimes it's like, guys, I wish we were on a boat right now in the yeah. middle of a lake, just casting <laughs> rods. Yeah. And yeah. I don't, I'm a guy that like doesn't have a fishing license, uh-huh. like doesn't hunt. Yeah, and it's expensive. I mean, you think the YouTube stuff is expensive? That's fishing. Oh, that's a whole. Oh yeah, really? Like yeah, just, like reels, like a whole setup's probably close to three hundred dollars just for one, and then you got to buy all the lures and stuff and the hooks and everything. True. And, it's I, just there, you could get so. Into I, it. I'm such a I, growing up. I was such a wussy, wussy with like worms. I oh, couldn't really? touch a worm. Bro. <laughs> yeah. it I took me a while a to get used to holding the fish. I didn't really yeah. like that. Um, one of our friends bought like a thousand dollar like full setup. Yeah, like oh, it's just crazy. So it was Jordan Ward into it for a musky reel or something. Dude, yeah, I've been musky fishing a couple times. That's fun. You ever catch one? I had okay. So like musky fishing, they're like the fish of a thousand cats or whatever. Yeah. That's what they say you don't really catch them. Oh. And it was my first day, our first or second. I went with my friend. We got up at like four in the morning, and we were on the water all day until till dark. And I had four on the entire day, and I didn't get one in the boat. Are you serious? I was so frustrated, dude. Yeah, I was. I think the last one, I was almost in tears because like, so I I was like reeling in. I thought I was on a log, but it like came to the surface. And like it was a giant musky, and so I like start freaking out. Your adrenaline goes up, yeah. and then like it came off, and I just threw the rod Dude. on the ground. I was so Damn. frustrated, but it's fun, man. It's it's a good time. It really... Isn't it like a whole process? Like when you're like you, yeah, yeah, you, you can have fight to, like, the fish for like a while, out, and then when you come in, you like kind of have to do like a figure eight is what they call it. Yeah, and then like it's it's really different compared to other other man. types of fishing. That sounds harder than wrestling. <laughs> it's <laughs> probably it more, be frustrating. A little more frustrating. Yeah, yeah <laughs> frustrating. Sure. Yeah, definitely. I remember I was at uh we were doing like a Fargo camp and there was like, you could go out on this like little pond and mm-hmm. I guess there's a bunch of Northern in there. Oh yeah. And you got like corn or whatever on your like little uh, rod and I toss one in. This is like maybe on the last day. Didn't really catch anything. I was like, Oh shoot. I got something. Reel it in. I got someone next to me on the boat. Like, I don't know anything about fish. Yeah. Big freaking fish. It was a northern pike. Those things have a lot of teeth. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. And so I'm like, no way, no way. Dude's like, I got, got the net, whatever. Starts bringing the net over. I'm reeling in. I'm lifting it up in the water. It must have bit off the line. Really? Because it fell off. And the... it's, it's frustrating, isn't it? Is it is frustrating. Yeah. I tell you what, the only fishing that I've really other done other than that was trout fishing at a trout farm. Okay. Yeah. Which was, you literally throw it in. and A yeah. trout farm? <laughs> trout yep. farm. Oh. Is <laughs> Yeah. Like they're everywhere, but that's kind of cheating. That's not even fishing. Yeah, for sure. No, yeah, I love fishing. It's it's a good time. Yeah. We were talking about on the way here also, uh, he's going jet skiing on the ocean. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever done that? Yep. I, uh, I My dad has a friend who uh, owns jet skis, and I was jet skiing like last week. Dude. So, But yeah, I've done it in the ocean. I did. It, I think it was Florida when I did it. Oh, it's unreal. Are you going where? Dude, the it ocean. Was, I don't know. What, I can't remember. I think it was Sarasota. I want to say. No, not Sarasota. I can't remember where exactly in Florida, but. It was like our uh, senior trip or something like that, and uh, not senior. It was my junior year, but I got held back. So oh. all my friends that were in the senior class, I kind of went with them and did that with them. But uh, yeah, it, I mean, jet skiing in the ocean, it's it's crazy. Like the waves are huge. W- so, like, would you, you recommend it? Oh, definitely. It's 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 a really good fun time too, for sure. I so I'm going to Florida next week. It's like my first vacation in like two okay. years, two and yeah. a half years. And we'll be like in Disney doing all that. Okay. But then um, I did want to take like a car down to Miami yeah. Beach and like 
somehow find a jet ski and yeah. do that. No, yeah, I, I would definitely recommend doing it. It was it was a really fun time. It was yeah, it was cool. Especially with like other people. I mean yeah. you're just out there racing. Oh, 100%. And, That'd be yeah, so fun. It's a good time. For sure. Do yeah. you have any fun facts? Like anything interesting? You anything think not, fun facts. Not even, even about, you. about you. Hmm. Let me think. It could be something totally random. I don't know. <laughs> That's like so, such a super random question. Yeah. I should I should have prepared for it. It is. I kind of want to do this every pod. Yeah. Uh, let me think. Um, I can't think do of you it just now. think you think of one. I'll think of one too. Okay. Oh god. Dude. See, it's tough, isn't it? It's <laughs> yeah. tough. Yeah, it's tough. He uh, shared one last time that um for with for Vito, his uh a hawk eats his chickens. Yeah. yeah. It's like bird on bird violence. Yeah. Just circles our yard and oh, okay. dive bombs them. Okay, my dog actually upstairs. His name is Vito. He's, uh, what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> How did you name it Vito? <laughs> uh, so my par- uh, parents love the, uh, oh, shoot, what is it? It's like the ma- mafia movies. Uh, what's it called? Uh, his name the is Godfather? Vito. Yeah, Godfather. Yeah, so his name's uh, Vito Corleone or something like that. Wow. And so that they really, it's, yeah, he's, he's a little uh, golden doodle. He's a mob boss, though, so. Oh, dang. That's I think yep. that's the coolest fun fact yet. Oh yeah. <laughs> I got a fun fact. Okay. It's more of a behind the scenes fact. Sure. Gable Stevenson told us that he doesn't think that you'll touch a wrestling mat in college. Really? Yeah. Well, that's crazy. I think Gable Stevenson even knows who I am. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of cool. Yeah. But uh yeah, that that's interesting. I might just have to do it cuz Gable Stevenson said yeah, right. I would. <laughs> but that's crazy. Yeah. That's sweet. Damn. Well, I mean, do you have anything else you'd like to say before we uh, sign off? I mean, not really. Just thank you guys for coming up and, yeah. and doing this. And Thanks for having us. Yeah, for sure. Go Hawks. Go Hawks. Oh, yes, wait, sir. we do have yes. a... We, we have one last thing. I know we got Another you a little gift, gift All right. from the Dopaminio bands, but Heck yeah. every every guest, yeah, we got a customized nice. Clash of Combat plaque. You were a guest oh, number... Sweet. Was that 11? Uh, I think so, yeah. Dude, that's insane. Yeah, And yeah. it comes with a nice little Snapchat Heck stand. Yeah, for sure. So our producer here, Bishu customize them and yes sir that's awesome yeah, man. yeah thank you guys this, yeah. this has been awesome it's been fun so yeah, sweet for sure absolutely yeah, well, see thanks you guys again. next time yep <laughs>